let's go to the next session. Okay. We have the superheated vapor. As I've said in the previous sections, in the region to the right of a saturated vapor line, that is at the right of a saturation dome, then we will have the superheated vapor. So this thick line is the saturation dome, while this thinner line is what we call the heat tanker. And this is a T against H, TH diagram. Well, you can see that the shape is uh, pretty much the same as that before. The PV diagram, the TV diagram also have this similar shape. Okay. And uh, compared to saturated vapor, the superheated vapor has the following characteristics. They will have lower pressure, they will have higher temperature, higher specific volume, high internal energy, and high enthalpy. Okay. Well, you can think of it uh, very intuitively. Okay. If we have a uh, pressure that is directly at the saturated pressure at a given temperature, then the thing will be either saturated liquid, saturated vapor, or a mixture. If we have a lower pressure, then the substance will expand and it becomes vapor form, so it becomes superheated vapor. And for higher temperature, if it is greater than the saturated, of course it's superheated, okay? Because we have input more heat than at the saturated state, so it's called a superheated. And uh, because we have heat, so it expand more, so we'll have a high specific volume. And also because we need to supply more heat, so of course we will have more internal energy and enthalpy inside the superheated vapor. Okay. So these five features are useful, but the most useful one for our computation purpose will be the first two, lower pressure and a higher temperature. Okay. And in the example 12, in the next few sessions, I will have an example to summarize all of the things we have discussed in these few sections. Okay? And you will see how these two features play a role in helping us determine which table should we use. Okay? Let's see some example to get a clear idea.